Don Boomer, and I'm Product Line Manager at Line 6. And we're here today to talk about our new XDR 955 digital wireless microphone. Uh, about a year ago, Line 6 acquired X2, which was the company that invented digital wireless microphones. And um, they've been quite successful with a digital wireless for guitar players that the tone sounds just like using a cable. So Line 6 thought, hey, we could do the same thing and we could do it with a, a vocalist mic. And so we've taken the digital technology from, from X2 and married it with the modeling technology from Line 6 and we've modeled this microphone so it sounds just like the world's most popular handheld vocal ball mic that has a cable attached to it. Uh, wireless microphones generally don't have the tone of their wired counterparts because there's so much you have to do to transmit the sound. Uh, one of the things that you have to do is use what they call a compander circuit. You have to take this large dynamic range and shrink it into something small, transmit that through the air, capture it at the other end, and then try to stretch it back out into the original shape. With digital, that's not a problem. And so we don't use a compander at all. Um, that allows us a microphone with an extremely wide dynamic range that behaves just like a mic with a wire. In other words, you can whisper at this mic, you can scream at this mic, and the noise floor doesn't change, you don't get distortion. It's just, again, just like using a cable. Um, the second part of our, of our uh, microphone story here is that we operate on what's called an ISM frequency band which gives us a microphone that doesn't require a license, which current UHF microphones actually do require a license. Um, so there's, there's no license to get, and we are completely immune from this digital television switchover, from the white space devices, any of this stuff that comes into play over the next uh, months or years, uh, we simply operate in a different band, and we're totally immune to all that changeover. Um, our system being digital um, broadcasts actually with two transmitters and there are actually four receivers. There are two channels broadcasting and two diversity receivers. So four complete receivers in this package means that you're very unlikely to ever have a dropout. It's simply double what anybody else does. So we basically cut in half the likelihood of dropouts from conventional um, analog UHF wireless microphones. It's all built in. It's a real simple system. Um, there are five channels. Uh, you don't have to scroll through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of channels to find open frequency. You just simply just dial right through one. Um, it's digital. As you all know, digital locks in and works, or it doesn't work. So once you lock this in on a channel, you're just good to go. And, and again, the tone, um, maybe that doesn't seem like a, a big improvement, but to be able to add the sound of a wired microphone back to a wireless mic. I mean, up to this point, you've chosen to use a wireless microphone because the performer needed the freedom to be able to dance around on a stage or to move all, all through the stage, and you simply had to settle for the tonal quality that you got, uh, which basically was, with compandered systems, they're forced to, to roll off the low frequencies of the microphone, and that's the biggest difference in, uh, in current analog wireless microphone technologies and digital micro, uh, microphone wireless technologies. Um, we have full frequency response down to 10 cycles, uh, 10 hertz at the bottom end, 20 kilohertz at the top end uh, would be what our transmitter is capable of doing. So again, this microphone is, is modeled to sound just exactly like that very popular ball mic that everybody uses out there. Uh, and so uh, this brings a whole new freedom uh, to, uh, to wireless mic users uh, to be able to have that sound that they want and the freedom of the microphone.